Yeah, it's great, Donna. Thanks very much. Um, tough um, category, sport in Yorkshire. So even to be on the shortlist is a bit of an achievement, I think. So pleased with that. And just looking then, first of all, at your year in 2015, just how would you assess it? Um, I think um, probably my peak years as a squash player have been um, sort of 2013, 2014. This year, um, I'm still ranked number two in the world, so I'm doing what no other squash player has done at my age. Um, 35 now and still to be ranked in the top two in the world is sort of setting a precedent for um, uh, the older statesman in sport, should I say. Um, and also got grant, um, awarded an OBE this year for my services to squash uh, throughout my career. So it's been a fantastic year. It must be a great feeling to know that you're kind of breaking the mould at being at the age that you are and still being so competitive. It is. Squash is a tough sport as well. Um, you know, hard on the body, hard on the mind, but a lot of years of experience as well. It is like physical chess. So um, the chess side of it, all the years of experience, you know, I can utilise those now. And as long as the legs can hold up on me, um, then I, you know, I've got a lot of years to give back and, and put into my game. And hopefully that will have a bit more success before I hang up the racket. And of course, talking about recognition, to get the OBE, that must be a massive honour. Oh, it was, you know, a special day taking my family down there um, to the palace to receive that um, from Princess Anne, who's obviously an amazing sporting pedigree herself. Um, just a great honour. And I think it was the first sport, uh, squash player to have uh, achieved that award um, for a number of years, for over 10 years, I think. So great for the sport as well to get that recognition. And Yorkshire's a strong Sporting County with a very uh, strong history in squash as well, so um, great to be recognised at home. And you're talking about recognition. Do you feel that the sport of squash is slowly but surely gaining more recognition? I think it, it is certainly in, in pockets. You know, there's areas where you do hear of um, court closures um, and um, lacking of numbers playing. So, you know, it's up to like myself um, to try and... Um, gee everyone up get that interest level going and you know we've had the olympic disappointment missing out on a place in the olympics in 2020 so overall it's clear the sport is um certainly going places but we just need the icing on the cake now that olympic place at olympic inclusion and of course if you were to gain that i mean then the recognition and the amount of publicity the sport would get really would go through the roof i think it would i think it's important that our tour is healthy and very successful and vibrant for the rest of the time and then that Olympics every four years is that icing on the cake is that pinnacle um, you know there's a lot of sports that don't have the thriving tour that squash has um, throughout that as those sort of intervening four years of the Olympic cycle and um, you know we just have to get on TV more as a lot of the other sports are in that same boat too but um, it's a great sport to play for health benefits great for kids to get into and and certainly where I'm in Sheffield, you know, um, started my academy now and, and the sport is just thriving and, um, you know, we, we, we're fully booked all the time of kids wanting to take up the game. So things are looking good. And looking at your career so far, I mean, when you were growing up, was it a case that when you started playing squash, you thought, right, I'm going to be number one at one point? Or what, was it a case that you just maybe started doing it just for a bit of exercise? Um, I did it because it sort of uh, satis I got into it through my parents, but it certainly satisfied my competitiveness. I think I'm one of the world's most competitive people, and it's one of those sports where you're in that close proximity with your opponent, the gladiatorial nature of it. I love racket sports anyway. Played a lot of tennis and badminton too when I was a kid, and uh, I just love that sort of one on one, in your face nature of squash. And, Obviously, what it, the feeling it gives you as well in terms of all the health benefits is, is, is a knock-on effect as well. And um, just love the sort of the it works out every area of your body. You know, you you come off and you know you've had a, a good game where, when you've been on the squash court. And looking at some of them famous victories you've got, if I was to ask you now, put you on the spot, which victory, which trophy you enjoyed gaining the most? Which one would it be? Um, I think can't really very tough to beat first world title I was in Saudi Arabia um, first Englishman for a um, number of years to ever win uh, the world title um, I think probably last year um, in Glasgow winning the Commonwealth Games gold uh, five weeks after having knee surgery uh, just managed to pit that though um, I think just the 
circumstances, it was the pinnacle for squash players. And uh, as I said, so soon after going under the knife, I think that just surpassed it.